Hey there, welcome to the junk drawer. My name is Enzo, and today we're talking about Halloween calico critters. So as you may or may not know, I have fallen in love with calico critters. I have a very small collection. Uh, I did make a collection video, so you can watch that uh, after this video. But today we're gonna be talking about a Halloween set that I I've actually been uh, sitting on for months and months and months now because I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this around Halloween. And it was, it's been so hard not opening this thing. I am very excited about it. But um, I wanna show you the other Halloween Calico Critter set that I have. This one I've had for a while. So, and it is called the Spooky Surprise House. And I'll show you the parts of it. So uh, this is the house part. It's super, super cute. It's meant to look like a haunted house. Um, I love the, I love the interesting choice of colors. Um, this is very like calico critters to me, like these kinds of colors, they're very soft and kind of almost like pastel-y. So um, I thought about maybe like painting this to a more like traditional house color or maybe doing like a funky like black and orange, but I I don't know, this is kind of growing on me. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a very basic kind of haunted house vibe. And then the backside shows the inside. So it's a, it is a two story house and there is a little balcony on the front. Uh, and then you may be wondering what this is. So this, it's in the shape of a ghost and there's a spot for the calico critter, but it's it's an elevator. So uh, yeah, and then you just kind of do this and you can have your little, little calico critter kind of go up and down. Uh, so super, super cute. But let me show you the furniture that it comes with. So it comes with a TV. Uh, it is hollow on the other side. And then we get a a spooky little couch, kind of in the shape of a ghost. Super cute. Again, hollow in the back. And then this part, which might be my favorite, my favorite part of this set, it's a little ghost. It's actually a felty, it's like a soft, fuzzy ghost. Uh, and it's kind of balancing on this thing underneath, but you can like spin them around. Um, I'm not sure what, I'm, I don't know if this is like meant to be like, meant to be a handle like this, or if this like goes into the house some, somehow, I haven't figured it out, but. So the coolest part about this is that when you lift the ghost, you have a little mini ghost, or it's more like a, like a shrunken head, uh, a la Beetlejuice. <laughs> so it's very strange, but I kind of love it. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't move or anything. It's just like on there, but I thought that was really funny and unexpected. Uh, there's also like a weird pattern under here. I'm not sure if that serves a purpose, but anyway, super, super cute. And this does come with a figure. So this is a baby cat. I believe it's a midnight cat, uh, for obvious reasons because it's black, but it's wearing this cute little outfit. And uh, yeah, and then it also comes with an adorable little ghost costume. So it's just a plastic shell with holes for the ears and the face. And you literally just, uh, literally just put this on the cat and now he's a ghost cat or she's a ghost cat. Uh, super, super cute. And here it is with all the stuff in it. So, yeah, it's cute. I think uh, with a few more characters, this would make a really cute display. And here we have the Trick or Treat Parade, which I, when I saw this online, I fell in love. I love these costumes and these characters. They are adorable. Um, so yeah, there's someone that's like chaperoning them and these are the, the kids and there's a little ghost ghost cat also included and little treats i love these little treats and the little baskets um everything about this is uh, adorable and there's also a glow in the dark element so that's also amazing um yeah so this is the front and on the side 
just shows you everything that's in the box. And the other side is just says trick or treat. And then there is a kind of like a stock photo of what's in the box. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna open this up and uh, we'll take a closer look. All right, so first we have this little uh, candy bucket that's in the shape of a pumpkin. And I have the little, I don't know, I, I don't know if these are like lollipops or what, but they are so stinking cute. I don't know if my camera is focusing because they're so small, but I will um, put some more footage or some photos if these are not in focus, but yeah. So here we have a moon and a star, and then we have a little pumpkin on a stick. And I think this actually, I can't tell if the handle bends or not, cause it is bending, but I don't know if it's just bending because I'm actually pulling it or if these are actual, like, um, if this, this is actually supposed to bend. But anyway, um, super, super cute. And then the second candy bucket, which I think is probably my favorite, uh, it's a little ghost bucket. It's got a cute little, little face on it. And then the little like uh, treats, one is a witch's hat and the other one is a ghost. Can't get over how cute these are. So this handle actually does move and I'm pretty sure it's meant to move. So I think the other one is also meant to move. So that answers my question. And then we have the, uh, like the adult cat, I guess, the black cat with, uh, with their like ghost outfit, which is super adorable. Uh, we have these little, little cat ears, little ghost uh, face drawn on there, little cutout. Um, there are, I don't know what this is supposed to be. I don't know if this is supposed to be meant to be like bells or something, but uh, yeah. And then underneath is a skirt, kind of made of uh, like a tool material. And then it looks like they have like bloomers on. <laughs> I can't tell. They look like, uh, like, like bloomers, you know, like old, old people bloomers. And I can take this off. So if I take the costume off, ta-da. So here is the cat underneath. So they're just wearing a very, very simple kind of outfit, but I'm probably gonna keep them in the uh, costume. And then we have the, uh, this is the glow in the dark uh, cat costume, ghost costume. And it's similar to the other one I showed you from the house where it just, it's just a, pl a plastic uh, kind of piece that goes over the calico critter. And then we have like a beigey cat with a very um, interesting outfit. It's literally just like a piece of fabric Velcroed around, which is very interesting. Oh, actually, it's not even Velcro. It's just literally wrapped around. <laughs> and here we have our first costumed critter. So I think she is supposed to be a witch just going by the the hat. I love the fact that the hat is over top one of her ears. I think that's really clever and really cute and fun. Um, she's also wearing this like shawl piece with a little, little piece of jewelry there. And then this skirt. Uh, the one thing I always mention about Calico Critters is the quality of uh, craftsmanship is is always there. Like there's always lots of little details and the the quality of the fabrics is really nice. And um, yeah, they definitely don't skimp out on uh, details. And then we have our elephant friend in a pumpkin outfit. This is so adorable. And it's just literally like a, like a sack basically <laughs> around him. Uh, and all this, all these costumes are re removable. So uh, I can take them off if I wanted to, but I am gonna keep them on. And this is the one that kind of sold me on the set. It is a Franken puppy, basically. Um, I think this is so adorable. I love the color of his skin. It's like um, kind of like a like a limey, minty green color. Uh, I love the little scar on his forehead. His outfit is adorable. It's so so very cute. Um, his little striped shirt and his pants. I, I love this character so, so, so much. So the interesting thing about this set is that the, the candy buckets that they come with, 
they can't really hold them very well or in a natural position just because of the way their um, hands or arms are. So I kind of wish they had figured that out. Um, I think the buckets could probably be a little smaller and have some kind of like something so that they could hold it. Um, so that's my only like critique, I guess, of the set. Um, otherwise, I love the set so, so much. Uh, obviously, I'm a huge Halloween fan, a uh, huge Calico Critter fan, so it's, it's like perfect. And um, I'm very happy with the set. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this Trick or Treat Parade set by Calico Critters. Um, would, you, would you purchase this? Uh, let me know. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. And I hope you're having a lovely whenever you're watching this. And I will catch you next time.